All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you the brand new plugin called Lander Sampler. This might be, in my opinion, one of the best samplers to come out in a long, long time. There's a lot to it, so we're going to break it down. We're going to chop up some samples. We're going to use it in FL Studio. So without further ado, let's get started. Open it up on a blank insert in the channel rack. One of the really cool things about Lander Sampler and that sets it aside from other samplers is the fact that you can take your entire sample library and load it within Lander Sampler. So then that way you can match your project's key and BPM. It does everything automatically for you let me show you real quick let's go to this plus button right here select a file or a folder in this case i'm going to select this 2014 kits and then if you also click on advanced filters you can adjust what type of sample you're looking for is it a loop is it a one shot the length this is crazy it does it all automatically and my location is this 2014 kits this is my entire sample library this is probably a couple hundred gigs of sounds so it went through it filtered everything by itself automatically so that way if i want all all if I want to break it down into loops, it somehow knows where my loops are. One shots, it, it knows drums. You know, load samples. I can just type in 808s. Or I'll just go to all, all, and type in 808s. And I got 3,800 808 load. So it went through and found a bunch of samples that have the word 808 in them. Fire. And then it just puts it all into one kit so you can go through the samples however you want. Let's cook something up. Or you can actually drag... A sample in hit continue add a new preset or you can add to existing preset so here's our sample you have a couple of different modes down at the bottom like right now it's in normal mode it's just hitting this one note you have chromatic mode which is pretty cool because i believe what it's doing is tuning the sample it knows somehow that it's an f sharp minor and you can see that it's correct because if i hit f sharp here it plays the original key of the sample right now right off the bat i'm playing this in c which sounds pretty good D sharp where you have slice mode where it's going to automatically slice a bunch you can adjust the sensitivity you get more chops you could do quarter notes half notes you play it out on your keyboard yeah i want to record that real quick and then we'll break down a little bit more of what's going on in the sampler because there's a lot to it like i said there's a lot to this plugin You have tons of controls here. If you want to fade in, if you have any little bit of clicking and popping, you can fade in, fade out a little bit. You can fine tune the sample. You can adjust the velocity and the volume of each sample. So you just click on whatever sample you have and adjust that to taste. And then you can see if you click on another chop, the settings don't blanket across all your chops. It just pertains to whatever you just clicked on. And that goes for the effects too. So this is the waves window. And then if you go to the effects window, each chop has their own effects where you can add a filter, chorus, delay, crush, which is like bit crush, distortion, and reverb. And that goes again on a case by case, sample by sample basis. So if I wanted to add chorus effect to just this first chop, it's not on this one but I could add it, add it to that one, and then hit play. And that goes for all these other effects. You also have a sequencer. I'm not going to touch on that right now, but that's also really cool. If you wanted to kind of create a rhythm within the sampler itself, you could do that as well. But I'm using the channel rack, so uh, kind of not necessary in this case for me within FL Studio. These buttons over here are really cool because you can normalize the volumes. You can key match it so you can transpose the sample to match the song's key. They also give you little cheat sheets in the bottom left-hand corner of this. If you look down here in the bottom of the plugin, you could see it tells you what each parameter and what each button and knob does what's really cool about this section too is like so you can uh sync the loops tempo right here with the stretch button and the playback this is something that's really useful for people that are going to be playing their samples out chop wise on a keyboard a midi controller whatever you're using if you just tap and let go of that chop right there it's going to play the full chop so if you click that and you have it on this little arrow with the line it's going to play it until it ends if you have it on this it's going to stop after you let go of it. If you hold it, it's going to repeat the chop. 
And then if you have it on this arrow, it's just going to play it and then it's going to stop at the end of that chop. So you have those three options for the playback and then the direction, it just reverses the sample. So that can be really useful in a lot of cases. You want to get a different vibe out of your chops. And then again, it goes by chop by chop basis. So you can reverse this one, but not reverse the other ones. I'm just going to beef this up a little bit with some secondary stuff. actually going to load another instance of the lander sampler in here and i'll show you in another use case of how to use this right now you have a whole bunch of different kits it's loaded up like a bunch of samples so you could do different collections and different kits and whatnot and you can have all of these played out like this so say you want to create some sort of percussion loop or some sort of What? This, these are just samples that are in here too. On top of it, I didn't even. Uh, this isn't one of my samples. What is that? Ooh, bro, what? And it's in key. Everything's in key. It just knows what key we need to be at. to transpose this down an octave so the way we do that is just go to transpose do a little bit of that So all around, I think this is super useful and it's going to definitely make it into my workflow 100%. This may replace the Fruity Slicer or Slice X every now and then when I want a little bit more detail and get a little bit more intricate with things. Let me know what you think. Are you going to be using this? And if you want to try it out, hit the link down in the description below. And as always, make sure to share this with a friend if you get me.